Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, we're going to explore the concept of deductive reasoning. What is deductive reasoning? Well, one way to look at it is that we can think of it as deductive logic. So we're trying to follow a steps of logical arguments. Start from A to B to C. We have this logical progression of thought. Another way of looking at it is that we are leading to a conclusion through making deductive arguments or deductive statements. But that still doesn't explain what deductive reasoning is because we're explaining it with the, with the word deductive and what does that really mean when we say deductive? Well, one way to explain it is by saying that it's reasoning from one or more statements to reach a logical conclusion. So it's a, it's a set of steps where we try to reason our way through that. Now, we still realize that we often do not reach a correct conclusion when we use deductive reasoning. And then the question is why? What are the keys? So here, this diagram here really explains a little bit better what deductive reasoning is. And this box right here that's, that's marked in red is the most important part of the whole process of deductive reasoning. So we start with a statement or a set of statements, a premise that we believe something may or may not be true, and so that's where we start. Then we need to couple that with known facts, definitions, accepted properties, or proven laws, or proven logic. But in other words, we have to have a repertoire, a set of things we know to be true that are related to the statement. Quite often, we do what we call deductive reasoning by skipping over this step, not knowing the rules, laws, theorems, and proven facts that will support our deductive reasoning. We simply skip over that and it becomes more opinion than based upon fact. And that's where the big difference comes in. That's really what deductive reasoning is based on. The ability to pull out definitions, facts, properties, laws, theorems, logic, things that we can base our logic and our steps of reasoning on. Sometimes we have to add to that a set of gathered data, experiments, tests, and measurements. We may not have all the facts. We may have to go out and do some additional data collection to understand what is going on so we can draw these logical conclusions. So this coupled with that together then gives us the ammunition the ability to then proceed with our logical deduction. So at that point, we do a logical and systematic application of the laws, the facts, the theorems, to come up with the statement and whether or not the statement is true or not. A logical conclusion. And if everything goes well, and we've done a good job stringing all the information together in a logical process, we should come up with a logical and correct answer. And that's very important that we make sure that it's also correct because we can have a very logical argument that comes up to a conclusion, but the conclusion could be totally incorrect. And the reason for that is if we don't do this proper process where we include known facts and definitions, accept the properties, proven laws and logic, we may miss the boat and steer it in the wrong direction. So there you go. That is what we mean by deductive reasoning. It's starting with a premise that we're trying to figure out. We rest or we use information that is correct, that we known to be factual. We may need additional data. And then we set up a logical system of thought, a logical processing of that information in a logical sense to eventually come up with a logical and correct answer. And that is what we call deductive reasoning. Now, of course, in geometry, we do a lot of that. And so this helps us go through the information, come up with the facts, come up with the theorems, come up with the laws and the rules that we know are correct, and then use those to draw that logical and correct conclusion. So we're going to try to do some of that in the future videos, but this of course applies to all deductive reasoning on all topics. And that's part of why geometry is so important to learn how to do that correctly. And that's how it's done.